Enough of Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity by Mo Willems. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and then I'll show Margo, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Toshi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then... And talk. And talk. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on! School. Trixie couldn't wait to show Knuffle Bunny to Ms. Greengrove and all of her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny wasn't so one of a kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Knuffle, 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 Knuffle. The afternoon was worse. When the school bell rang, Ms. Greengrove returned the Knuffle Bunnies. And the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert brushed her teeth, and tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from planet Snurp. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for sleep. But a few Hours later, Trixie realized something. Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, That is not my bunny. Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. He asked, oh, Can we deal with this in the morning? <sighs> Trixie's daddy went to the phone. But before he even made it down the stairs. Ring! The phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. We have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. Trixie 
did not want to be late. Neither did Sonia. There was an exchange. And the Knuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. And they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back. At the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. Knuffle Bunny accepted, of course. Epilogue. The next morning, both Trixie and Sonia rushed to school. The new best friends had a lot of catching up to do. Do you want to play with my Knuffle Bunny? Sure. Do you want to play with mine? The end. And that's the tale of Knuffle Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity.